So if you thought AI, computer systems, software, and hardware was going to take over your job in the next 20 years, ha, you're wrong. It's now. And it has accelerated since the pandemic. Welcome back to Marcus at Work Media. So let's jump into the latest issues dealing with jobs and the money which is a big concern for a lot of people with the economic climate and high interest rate and high inflation. And you, you know, you're spending $200 at the grocery store just for three items, all of that taken into account. And AI is at the foreground of the technology that is accelerating the replacement of you and I. Let's get into the research. Quaylen, help us understand how a shift to more automated work will play out in the US in the coming years. Absolutely. As you mentioned, Ed, I think a combination of generative AI with automation broadly, which has been accelerating uh, certainly since COVID, uh, and then also the impact of COVID-19 overall on jobs, when you pull all of that together, that's going to automate uh, or have the potential to automate about 30% of the hours spent on tax in the United States. And that's affecting the full spectrum of jobs, everything from high-end, high-wage jobs, which is why I think it's gotten so uh, much press over the last few months. Uh, as well as lower end jobs. What we found was actually lower wage jobs below $38,000 a year in the United States are actually 14 times more likely to be eliminated. Mm -hmm. So while all of our jobs will likely be changed uh, given the 30% of tasks, most of the ones on the higher end will just change. They won't be completely automated or eliminated the way they will on the higher, the lower end range of wages. So in the last few years or so, you may have been at a restaurant, out with friends on the town, and you've seen stuff like this. Or maybe stuff like this. Better yet, I know you've seen stuff like this. Well, apparently that's just the beginning. Because now we got AI shifting a lot more jobs on the higher end, and the lowering. Pearl works seven days a week. She never needs a day off. She works doubles and she works for about $2.50 an hour. We absolutely are, are striving to help solve the labor crisis. And if we can do it with robotics, we're not replacing people. We're just helping them do their job easier. She's especially helpful to the bartender so they don't have to leave the bar. And the people seem to love her. Oh, she's so cute. I think she needs more like some bling or something. You know, maybe even blinking lights. Pearl is programmed to know the placement of all the tables in the restaurant, but she's still in beta testing and has a few kinks to work out, like being stable enough to carry drinks. But for now, she's earning her keep. So I don't know, man. Uh, things getting crazy out here. We got a rental crisis going on where people can't afford the cost of living. We got a food crisis going on. People can't afford food and basic necessities. Gas still thrown in the mix. We got high energy bills and, and all of that. And the cost of everything is through the roof. And on top of that, the cherry on the top, we got technology taking over everything, including our jobs so do whatever you can get some new skills learn some new trades find a new occupation and prepare because it's going to be a bumpy road for a lot of us myself included